Welcome to Gigi Mission, still rolling after 10 years. It's brilliant to get some of the youngsters who work with me to come and make a film over a couple of days and they find that really exciting and they're able to do lots of interesting things which perhaps in sort of the world of business they don't get that opportunity to do really. You lose. Oh. <laughs> I guess this tape is mine. <laughs> I think probably the biggest thing is, is developing a voice. I think TV's really been quite critical in helping us develop our personality as filmmakers. When you go through education, you end up coming out and you have all these assignments, which is to carbon copy a scene that you've watched already, you know, and, and you know how to do that, and you know how to mimic other directors and other filmmakers. Um, but TV kind of releases those shackles and and you get to just explore, it's like a weight's off, and you just get to sort of create some wacky fun, and through that process, I think we've discovered ourselves massively. We're gonna start from where we left off, so if you could all just introduce yourselves. Well, I'm Spiderwave, ace hacker from Neo Tokyo. I'm here to avenge my sister who was kidnapped by mecha angels. Yeah, I, I think that what's brilliant about DV Mission is that it's, it's all about the ideas, the ones that are always the best, are the ones that have got the great ideas, and I think that's that's what's so refreshing about it. Film challenges is about um, jumping in the deep end, and you know what it's like. Do you know when you're on pre-production or you're writing the script or something, it takes forever, doesn't it? Sometimes you just want to get out there and you actually just want to get something made, and the 48-hour film challenge allows you to do that, and also learn new skills and meet people you haven't worked with before, and then you form bonds with them, and you work with them again. So it's it's a massive thing. So. I'm guessing you remember your characters from last time? Johnny Doss, Prince of Hackers. I'm C. Slash, Killbot Ninja. I'm Lithium Thunder, Techno Gigolo. Okay, pick up where we left off from last time. As a platform to, to show your films and, and to um, just, just get a catalogue of films and the experience working on all of them, um, it's been massive for that and gaining self belief, and you don't often get to, especially DV, where you, you get to show your film and then people get to tell you about it straight away after. Um, it's something that is hard to come by. And this gives them an opportunity to do a lot of different things in a short space of time. And actually, what we're finding is that, that that's the way the world's going now. We, we don't tend to have people working for us who, who just do one job. They might be shooting some video, cutting it, or they might be assembling it here onto an online site, they might be doing some graphics. It's a, it, it's a sort of multitasking, and that's really the ethos of DV Mission, that you, know, that you do a bit of everything. We are their creators driven by conscience, while they fight for no subjective circumstance. Um, some of the judges who've judged this year's competition have said themselves, you know, some of the work is outstanding for what they've done. So. You can see the buzz, buzz when the filmmakers actually, you know, are in the challenge, when they come out of the challenge. They're more hyped up and they're raring to go to make other films. So, and that, to see that is really exciting, because especially because like, people have got, you know, nine to five jobs or whatever, you know, through the week, filmmaking this and, you know, their lives. So the opportunity for them to go out and do the film challenge and then to come back, come out of it really inspired and see them go away and write and then they're making films and all that, like, it's, you need that boost. So you, and you see that within the community of filmmakers, you see that around Southampton and you know, what, people from Portsmouth and wherever, so yeah. it's good. My name is Eye Candy. What body part are you interested in? Well, I'd need a new eye. Can you help? I'm sorry. We don't have eyes in stock at the moment. I'm always surprised not more people could do it, to be honest. And, yeah. you know, I know we've always limited it, the DV mission to 25 teams, but, you know, it's... Everybody should be doing it, I think, as far as I'm concerned. 
I didn't really think there was uh, a film community in Portsmouth or down south until DV Mission. And um, going every year, like you said, coming back and seeing the same faces, seeing some of them tonight as well, especially, that sort of uh, it fills you with a bit of comfort as a filmmaker. It, we're, we're trying to make films and, and get them shown. And, um, and when you do see the same film, the same person, you just think, oh, there's, there's, that, there's that word, community. Mm. You know, and, um, and it's great to see, and, and DV's a massive part of that. Mm. Yeah, definitely. It is never wrong, or so they say. I'm kind of nervous, but it's too late to say no. Poor girl, she'll never know what's hit her. Here we go. From my point of view, I think... Actually, DV Mission is one of the most challenging things that we have to deal with in a year. And, and it's great from that point of view. And, you know, that sort of blank feeling on a Friday evening when you've been given your sort of uh, instructions and everybody looks at everybody and can't think of a single idea. Um, and you've got to shoot something, you know, first thing in the morning. And, and I, think it, I think it's incredibly difficult but at the same time really liberating and, and exciting and, and to be honest you know the real world's not not very like that if you don't like the um, pressure you wouldn't be doing 48 hour challenge in the first place <laughs> that's one of the massive buzzers and also because when you're on film set and you're not in a 48 hour challenge you've got pressures and you've got to think on your feet anyway so being able to do it in a 48 hour challenge is just, just going to improve your way of being able to react you know, to situations and stuff so everything else. Thank you so much for watching.